afternoon. Uh, my name is Marlene Holmquist, and um, today um, I have created a flow where we sort of limit the upward facing dog. So it's going to be more of a uh, working the chaturanga. So of course, you can take the up dog if you like. I had a friend who reached out to me that in extensions of the back doesn't feel so great to her. So I said that let's do something where we yet yeah, we open up the front side, uh, but really try to leave that extension of the spine out, especially when it comes to the low back. Uh, as always, I'm not a doctor. I do believe that we listen, we tuning inwards, we see what works for us in the very moment, and uh, we take the practice from there. Right. So let's come into a comfortable seat. I'm just gonna move my mic a little bit. Bear with me. That's as close as it gets. So let's come into a comfortable seat, however that might look like. And then close your eyes. And start listening into your breath. The sounds that are happening around you, besides, I can hear the traffic. So if you can tune it out, so just listening to my voice, listening into your breath as you start deepening the breath, feeling how it's filling you up in all directions, gently releasing, letting it go. Start transitioning to the Ujjayi Pranayama. So same your lips, start breathing in and out through the nose. Find that light contraction at the back of the throat, keeping the inhale consistent to the exhale. You can hear yourself breathe. Your heart starts calming. So whatever that happened prior to this moment, can just let it be. Let it be to whatever this day has in store for you. Engage your pelvic floor for your Mula Bandha and then draw the navel towards your spine, your Udayana. Hands to your heart, setting an intention for your practice. Maybe it's a, it's an intention of moving with love and compassion towards yourself. Maybe you have a different intention that resonates with you. Take it into your heart. Onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Bend your knees, keep feet hip width apart. Whatever that feels good to you. Try to get a long line from your hands to your shoulders to the hips. Try to rotate the tailbone up, lift your kneecaps. Try that. Internal rotation into your upper arms. Maybe 
feel how you're exploring this downward facing dog. Okay, lift your heels, walk your feet forward, coming in to a forward fold. Keep your feet open apart from the crown of the head towards the floor, hands to the elbow. Just be having your belly in. Release your hands down to the earth. In the four corners of the feet into the mat and then start rolling up, pull the belly back in, chin to the chest. Be super heavy. Pay attention to every part of your spine. Eventually, bring your head up, shoulders to the ears, excite, slide your shoulder blades down your back, back, palms facing forward, gaze face to the tip of the nose, into Samasi. Take the hands to the hips. I'm just going to turn this way for the moment and then shift the weight into the right foot and hips are neutral. Be light onto the left toe and then turn your left knee out and then start sliding your foot up to the calf, maybe all the way into the inner thigh towards the groin. You can use your help with your hand. But again, keep your hips neutral, hug it all into the midline. And start bringing the hands up. Maybe lifting the chin up. Shifting the gaze for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, hands back to your heart. Left knee into the chest. Step your foot next to the right. Shift the weight into the left foot. Right knee turns out. Start sliding your foot into Brakrasana. Keep listening to your breath. Bringing the hands up. Lift the chin from the chest and breathe. Relax your shoulders down. Bring the hands to your heart. Left knee into the chest, right knee to the chest. And step your foot next to the left, come back in into Samasthiti. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, reach your arms up and over, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Arda Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet to plant pose. Hold it there. Press the mat away from you, heels are reaching back. Exhale, lower down, halfway push up. Inhale, come back, high plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Now we need for five, four, three, two. And one. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, root to rise, reach your arms over your head or bahasas. Exhale, hands by your side, samas. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, hands by your side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, step it back. Lower down, shoulder up. Inhale, plant pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, right leg lift straight up. Let's stack your hip open. You know how you feel, how you open it up into the inner thigh. Press it evenly into both hands. Maybe making movement into the joints. Exhale, knee to the chest. Let your foot just hover over the ground and then set your foot down. Left heel reaching back, hips are squared. Inhale, rise up for high lunge. You can always bend into that back knee if it feels into your low back. Lift through the heart, relax the shoulders down, lift your gaze for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Widening and broadening over the collarbones, firm up your tricep, launch yourself forward, warrior three. Another five breaths. Release your shoulder blades together, four, three, two, and one. Set your left foot back, inhale, arm comes up, Ashta Chandrasana. Exhale, take your hands down, inhale, right leg on the back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the chest, stay here, squeeze your heel to the, to the butt, try to kiss your knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, knee, right tricep, maybe bring it up into the armpit, shift forward, five, Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee, left tricep, cross it over for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, right leg up, and then exhale, take your foot next to the left for downward facing dog. Take a moment, knees are reaching back. Check in who you are, expectations, whatnot, let them go. Make sure you're breathing, staying in the moment. Inhale, left leg. Then really try to opening up into the inner thigh. And again, start moving into the joints. I think that might feel good. Exhale, knee to the chest. And again, Try to set your foot down nice and quietly between your hands. Right heel is reaching back. Knees over the ankle. Inhale, rise up. Ashta Chandrasana. Try to pull those lowers in. Remember, you can bend the back knee. Lift through the heart for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, exhale, sweep your arms behind you. Again, broadening through the collarbones, firm up your tricep, and then launch yourself forward for warrior three, for five, four, three, two, and one. Set your right foot back, inhale, Ashta Chandrasana. Exhale, hand comes down, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to the chest, stay here, heel to the butt, try to kiss your knee for five, four, really dome your upper back, three, 
two, and one. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, three, left tricep, fourth into the armpit for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the length, and exhale, right tricep, cross it over for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the length, and exhale, take your foot down. Take a big breath in through the nose, open mouth, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, hands by your side, Samasthi. Big toes together, have a little gap between your heels. Bend your knees, inhale, come into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet to plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to plant. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, option is here to stay. Option two is obviously to come down to down dog B. Again, pay attention how it feels to the low back. We're strengthening and opening up into the shoulders. Move with your breath for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Return to your hands. Spin your left heel down. Right foot forward. Inhale. Rise up. Warrior one. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders open, lift your gaze, exhale, fold, humble warrior. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one. Exhale, hand comes down, step to flank, pose, lower down, chaturanga, inhale to flank, exhale, downward facing dog, right heel down, left foot forward, inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, interlace your hands and lift your gaze. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hand comes down, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, plant. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Big toes together, bend your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Come to standing. Samasthiti. Bend your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arm. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come down to your forearms. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, come back up onto your hands, spin your right, the left heel down, right foot forward, inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, interlace your hands, lift your heart, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, hand comes down, step to chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, rise. Exhale, interlace your hands, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hand comes down, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. 
exhale downward facing dog five breaths one two three four And five. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, slide your feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Come to standing. Samasthi. Take your feet hip width apart. Hands to the hips. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold, hinge at your hips. Peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, belly in. Shift the weight forward a little bit. Relax the shoulders, shift to the chest. We take five deep breaths. Breathing into the sensations. Maybe connecting back in with the intention as we're moving with the Two more. Inhale, half foot. Exhale, let go of your big toes. Slide your hands underneath your feet. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. And breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, half lift. Let go of your big or your feet. Hands to the hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Coming back in to samasthi. Keep your hands to your heart. Step your right foot to the back of the mat, and then turn your right toe to the back. Heel to arch alignment. Open up your arms. Now reach forward, exhale, hinge at your hip. Try to keep that long energetic line over the front leg. So you're finding your good support as you can spin the chest open, stacking that left hip open, float the top hand up, chin away from the chest, and shoulder blade down your back. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Exhale, look down. Take your hand to your hip, bend in to your right knee. Take your right hand in front of your right foot, launch yourself forward. Coming into the same, same shape we were just in. So try to open up the left hip. Keep lengthening the crown of the head forward. Heart moves, opens up, floating that top hand up. Maybe shifting the gaze. Maybe even come light onto the right fingertips, taking the hands to the heart. Bend into the knee and then step back to the long side of the mat. And then turn your right toe in, left toe to the front of the mat. Open up your arms. Reach forward, hinge at your hip. Take the hand down again. So find that good alignment over the front leg. Opening up the right hip, floating the top hand up. Here we are in Uttita Kripunasana. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Take the hand to your hip, look down, bend into the left knee, left hand in front of you. And then again, launch yourself forward, opening up your hips. Back into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Holding, feel stable, the top hand shifting the gaze. Maybe the hand to your heart.
your right foot back and then rise to the long side of the mat. Open up your arms, step to the front of the mat, coming back in to Samasana. Inhale, reach your arms up and over Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, fold forward Uttanasana. Inhale, half. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet to plank pose. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg bends. Exhale, knee to the chest, step your foot through between your hands, bring your back heel down. To the right toe points forward, knees over the ankle, draw your hip back, inhale, rise up. You can bring your palms together, keep your hand, hands shoulder width, but shift the gaze. Even if it's just the eyeballs, pull your heels, no ribs in. Four. Three. Two. And one, open up to the long side of the mat. So you wiggling your left foot back, opening up your hips. Try to get your booty underneath you. Arms cross out wide. Pull your hips together. Steady gaze. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, either forearm comes down or hands to the earth. Keep getting that right hip underneath you, reaching your left arm up and over. Spin your heart open, gaze to the fingers for five. Keep reaching four. Three. Two. And one, exhale, hand comes to the inside. Walk your hands alongside the mat. Turn your right toe in or both toes. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And again, try to rotate your tailbone up if you can. Exhale, drop the head down, chin to the chest. Spreading the toes. Belly in. Oops. Breathe. Okay. Four. Three, two, and one. Hands under the shoulders, inhale, half lift. Turn your left toe out, spin your right heel up. Bend into your left knee. You're coming to the back of the mat. Into Skandasana. Maybe hands to your heart. Take your left hand outside your knees. So the knees into the tricep and then bring your right hand up. Take the hands onto the low bar. Maybe the thumb, you have this internal rotation and then connect your fingertips. Roll your shoulders open, look over the shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Show you're pressing into the other part of your left foot. And then let it go. Take your hands underneath your heart. Inhale, half lift. And then walk your hand to frame your right foot. Step your foot back. Plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the chest. Step your foot through between your hands. Bring your back heel down. And then rise up. So again, check in with the foundation. Hips are as squared as possible to the front. Bring your arms up. Again, either palms together or shoulder width or even wider. Four, five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Open up to warrior two. So we go right foot back. Left knees over the ankle, hips on neutral, arms out wide. Steady gaze, five. Four. Three. 
two, and one. Take your hand down and then reach right arm to the front. Look underneath the shoulder to the chin, the side. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take your hands down, walk to the long side of the mat. Coming back in to this forward fold. Take the hands to the hips for B variation, chin to the chest. Interlace your hands behind your back. Move the shoulders away from the ears and then try to get the hands up and over, chin to the chest. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take the hands to the low back, release your hands under the heart, inhale, half lift. And then turn your right toe out, again to the back of the mat, even though that I walk to the front. Spin your left heel up and then take a seat into Skandasana variation. Again, try to ground the foot in if you can. Take your hand outside so you have your arm to the inside of your knee. Inhale, bring your left hand up, take it down to the low back. You can stay here, you can use the strap. Internally rotate your shoulder, connecting your fingertips. Roll your heart open and breathe. Take your hands down, inhale, lift your hips, walk your hands to frame your left foot. The front of the mat, step, stick to step to plank pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down with face the dog. Take your knees down to the mat for a moment and take a seat onto the shins. So from here, we're going to make our way in to Malasana. Right? You can do, you can practice a couple of tuck ups uh, before you get there. So it's really, you really have to round your back, pull the belly back in. Put your brakes on as you're landing. So you're going to take your hands a bit shorter than your regular down dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Maybe it's just of getting your hips up and that's all you're doing. Or you come to the front of the mat with your hips over your shoulders. When you're assisting on that, obviously you can also just step in your feet outside your hands. And then lower down into this little malasana squat. Take the hands to your heart. Again, deeper opening into the inner thighs. Lift the heart and then noticing if you roll shoulder blade wants to roll forward, roll them down. Keep the nice spine nice and long. Take your hands behind you and then come into a seat. Bring the soles of the feet up together so you're making a triangle shape. You can slide your hands underneath if you like. You can just hold on to the feet. That might even be easier. And then exhale, fold. We need to pull muscle variation. Bring your right foot in, sorry, left foot in, right foot out. So the toe points forward, the quad is engaged. Take the hands either right hand to your right shin or to the inside of the foot. And then inhale, reach your arms up and over. Turn this way. Keep that left sit bone grounded. Spin your heart open and breathe. Inhale, come all the way up, and then switch your route. 
left hand either just place it there bring it up or to the inside reach it up spin your heart Inhale, come all the way up, bring your knees into the chest. Take the hands, you can start with the hands behind your thighs, parallel. You can lift them up, lift your chin. Navasana, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant your feet, hands behind you, move your way back in to Malasana. Exhale, take your hands down, lift your hips up. So you're going to be not as wide as we did in the forward fold, but obviously wider than your regular forward fold. Now bend your right elbow to 90 degrees, like a dinosaur arm. And then exhale, bring your elbow to the inside of your right. And then take your hand onto your right ankle, drop the head down, take your left hand to the low back, and turn to rotate your right arm and bring it up to connect it between behind your back. You can use the strap here, shift the weight in to your left foot. And from here, slowly, gently, you start rising. Mm. Opening up into bird of paradise shifting the gates five four three two and one and then release lower it down your hands to your elbows and spread. Straightening one leg, one knee at a time. And then come back to center, let go of your elbows. Bend your left elbow. And the next leg between your legs, left hand to your left ankle. Take your right hand to the low back. Internally rotate your arm so you can connect your fingertips behind your back. From here, shift the weight into your right foot and rise up. And release, take it down, hands to the elbows. Like what were you holding on to? Into the chest, start rolling up along your spine again. Bring the shoulders to the ears, exhale, slide your shoulder blades down the back. Make sure you're standing at the top of the mat again. Shift your weight into your right foot. Hips on neutral, be light onto the left knee. Bring your knee to the chest, cross it over. Again, the toe can come down, wrap it around your leg as much as you can. If your boot sticks out, see if you find this neutral hips and squeeze your legs together, open up your arms. Exhale, right over left. You can hold it here, you can wrap it again as much as you can. Find your lift. Again. <laughs> Exhale, release your arms, bring your knee into the chest, and then step your foot back. Hips are squared. Open up your arms. Exhale, take the hands, either hold on to your 
wrists or to your yeah to your wrists or to your elbows. Bring your hands between your shoulder blades. Again, broadening over the collarbones, belly in. Exhale, you start folding horizontal and asana. Rounding into the right big toe. Inhale, come all the way up, right hand to the hip, and then bring your left hand up. Exhale, reach forward, take your hand down to the inside or the outside of your right foot. And then reach forward, exhale, you start twisting, floating the top hand up, and we breathe again. Five, six, four. Two and one. Exhale, take your hands down, and then move your left hand in front of the right foot, launch yourself forward, picking the back foot off. Uparita Arda Chandrasana, float right hand up. Another five. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, look down, right hand to the hip, left foot next to your right. Now take your right foot hand, sorry, left hand outside your right foot. Now you can come up standing, coming this from this position in for Samasti TV2, and then inhale, rise up. Take the foot with you, or you come to this variation. You can hold on to the knee if you prefer. Bring the right hand up and then exhale your twist. Same shape, just different variation. Inhale, look forward, exhale, let it go, and then set your foot down next to your left. Take a moment, neutralizing your hips. Step your left foot back. Again, whatever arm variation you took, open them up, and then you can take your fingertips together, hold on to the elbows. Again, broadening over your heart, hips are neutral. Feet are grounded, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Left hand to the hip, right arm up. Exhale, reach forward, take your hand down to wherever you find your support. Draw left hip back, lengthening yourself forward, maybe floating the top hand up. Five, four, three, two. And one, left hand to the hip, bend into the left knee, right hand in front, and then march yourself forward, picking right foot off the mat, start twisting, maybe taking the top hand up, and breathe. left hand to the hip, right foot next to your left and fold. Take your right hand outside your left pinky, weight into the right foot and then inhale, rise. Or you come in with this variation in Tadasana. Hold on to the knee, left hand up, exhale, twist.
Inhale, look forward, exhale, let it go. Step your foot next to the right. Hands by your side. Inhale, reach your arms up and over Urdhva Hasvasa. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hug. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet to plank pose. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your knees down to the mat for a moment and shift into child's pose. Really feel how your third eye is rounding into the earth. Maybe your heart is touching. So just grounding yourself for a moment. Back in with those expectations. Whatever you came in with, just practice. Reconnecting to your intention. Tuck your toes under, lift your toes up. Inhale, right leg left. Exhale, knee to the chest, and you put through between your hands. Inhale, rise back up into Ashtashandrasana. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders open, lift your hips. And then exhale, making your way back into Viravidrasana. Please so launch yourself forward. Try to see if you can keep hands bind. Put your left foot back, release your hands overhead. Exhale, the hand comes down, slide with your right foot back. So option here is to come into standing split and stay there. Option number two is obviously, I think I have a hammer coming. Beauty of living in Encinitas, a lot of helicopters. Right, so either standing split, or you can do your handstands off, but try to use as little momentum as, as possible. So it might be the case of just pressing the mat away from you, like this. Get a little bit of your time, or you're coming into your full handstand. Take your time, about five breaths, and then you move to your chaturanga. Back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Turn to the Ujjayi breath. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the chest, move it through. Inhale, rise. Ashta Chandrasana. Exhale, interlace your hands, take the other thumb on top. Lift your heart and gaze. And then launch yourself forward, Virabhidrasana. Three, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your foot back, inhale, rise. Ashtashandrasana, exhale, hand comes down. So again, options, standing split, handstand hops, or come in. Adho Mukha Prakasana, use the wall if you prefer. Back to plank, exhale, downward facing up. Inhale, come forward into a high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. 
forehead down, bring your arms at the long side of the body. You can keep your feet hip width apart or toes touching. And so we're trying to not to get too much extension into our back, but we want to activate the glutes and the back. So press the hands into the mat, inhale, press the forehead in, and just lift your feet, reaching the toes back. Exhale, lower down, take your hands underneath the shoulders, rise to all fours, and take a seat onto your hips for a moment. Close your eyes. and return to your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the chest, step your foot through between your hands, and then lower your left knee and the top of the down. So you're just gonna come up like this. So not too much going on in the low back. I'm going to roll all over your kneecaps. So keep the right hand into the knee and then just reach for the front. So if you can, and it doesn't bother you low back, you're going to take your hand to the inside of the arch. You can do it on the other side. It shows better. All right, so you take your foot. See how my thumb is up? I'm holding onto the arch. From here, I'm flipping my grip and bringing my foot up. And again, I try to keep my hips as neutral as possible, just bringing the heel to my boodle. I get a good stretch in my shoulders. And obviously, if you have no problems with your low back, you can lean forward a little bit more. Mm. And then release, let it go. Shift it back. Perhaps fold over the front leg just for a moment. And then inhale, come forward. And wiggle your foot towards the right. Take your shin down. I like to slide back. You can prop yourself up here. Just make sure that the, the left foot comes out straight on the and on top of your toe. Find a little lift and exhale, fold forward. And stay onto the forearm. If you have a pillow and your hips are tight, you can actually prop your chest up. Otherwise, just come down, far down as your hip and knees allows you. You can stay with the breath, breathe into the sensation. your breast to soften. Slowly start coming up. Come back up onto your hands. And then see if you can move your shin back a little bit. So you're onto the right shin, like this, and then slide your left knee behind your right. And then see if you can separate your feet, maybe off the mat even. You can use blocks and then take a seat between your feet. 
it's okay if the knees are not the problem this time. Just keep both sit bones down so you get that good stretch into your hips. You may stay here, that might be enough. You can just bring the chin to the chest. Bringing your left hand up, take the hands between your shoulder blades, taking either right hand to the elbow or right hand and thumb down and connect your fingertips. You can either sit up here or exhale, you folding, full pose, full compressing on. Inhale, come all the way up, release your hands. And then take your left foot outside your right hip, planting the right foot firmly just outside your left knee. Take the left hand behind, right hand behind your left arm, and then exhale, put your elbow. Try to get your belly past the thigh. Sit up tall and then exhale, twist. You can either just again internal rotate, get your hand between that right leg and connect your fingertips full pose you will take the right hand to the thigh left hand to your left arch Inhale, look forward and then release. Take your left chin parallel to the front of the mat. And then your right, come up. All right, so you try to keep the hips nice and neutral all over your right kneecap. Reach for the top of the foot. Just bring the foot in, maybe if you're flipping the grip. If you have no problems in your low back, you can bring, you can shift forward. Let it go, shift it back, perhaps split for a moment. Inhale, come forward, pigeon pose. Squiggle the foot over towards the right, take your shin, thigh, and sit them down. Slide it back, and then lower yourself down. And get the para rasha, kapitasana. Start coming up onto your hands. Now come up onto the left shin, right, and just slide your right knee, slacking them. Try to separate your feet and come into a seat back into Umokasana. So again, it might be enough to stay here. Maybe right hand comes up between your shoulder blades, left hand on top, or you connect your fingertips. Either chin to the chest or exhale, you start feeling. Inhale, come all the way up, 
and then release. Bring that right foot close to your left hip, planting your left foot. Take the left hand behind you, inhale. All right, get your belly past. Find a variation that works for you. Either stay here, hand between the legs. release let it go and then take the right shin parallel to the front of the mat left ankle on top of your right knee feet are flexed come to the front side of the sit bones see the stay chin to the chest we walk your hands out in front of you Space behind you and roll down along your spine. Keep your feet straight up, arms up long side of the body. So either stay here, you can use a block under your hips if you prefer, or you're going to come up into Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Shima your shoulder, and if you take the hands to the low back. Right, make sure you support it onto your triceps. Bring your feet up, belly in. Between 10 and 15 breaths there. over your head, interlace your hands. Awesome. Say bend your knees to look at us. to the low back, come back into shoulder stance. So option is to bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide, so you must that butterfly position. Or come into your lotus. To the knees. And take your hands up long side of the body and slowly start rolling down. And let go of your lotus. Extend your feet out long. Palms facing up. Let go of the breath, the bandhas. We have a right in Shavasana.
Stretch long, release into the chest, roll over to your right side, move them up into a seat, same comfortable seat where we started, close your eyes, just sit up tall. Listening back into the breath again. Put your hands to your heart and feel the calmness in your chest, in your mind. Back to your intention. In your mind, say to yourself, I am enough. I am loved. Catch into the chest. Namaste. So much for joining me today. More in this was for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it feels okay to you. Go back and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Take care.